What's up, everybody? Alfred Joe here, telling like T.I. is like always. But I guess y'all heard about this soldier. I know it's late, but I guess y'all heard about this soldier who said he shot and killed Osama bin Laden. There he is, Rob O'Neill. And what got me is this man's going out telling people he killed Osama bin Laden. Now y'all got a question? Why would any soldier? gloat about that to civilians why would any navy seal gloat to civilians why would anybody that's in service would gloat about that shit unless something was up what got me was I said when I heard this story it reminded me of another navy seal this guy named he, go, he went under the name Mark Oldman and you see, probably seen this 60 Minutes uh, segment with him talking about him writing a book about how him and his team went in there and shot up and ki uh, uh, went in there and just raided Osama Bin Laden's place. And he wrote the book about it. That's awfully funny. This man you see is dead. Him and five other people, him of five or six other people that was in his squad are dead since this video since he appeared on 60 minutes he died right after the 60 minutes up uh, air and five or six other people that was on his squad are dead dead D E A D dead Y'all probably saying, how, how would you know, motherfucker? It's like it's, you gotta you you gotta think about it. Why would any why well may how would I know? Cause think about it. Why would this Navy SEAL need to go undercover to tell him that he wrote a book on how him and his team raided Osama bin Laden's place and killed him? That's the funny part. Why did this man hide? But why did this man come forward when no not to hide his identity, but he did. And he wrote a book about it, how they raided the place. And him and five or six other Navy SEALs are dead. Because he told his story and five or six of them are dead too. And I sat there for the longer. I said, this guy is next. This guy is going to die. This dude is going to end up dead some fucking way because he was so fucking ignorant to sit up there and tell people he shot Osama Bin Laden. I wouldn't even do that my damn self. That's like the ignorant shit you can do is tell people you shot and killed Osama Bin Laden and you thinking that's so fucking cool and shit. And telling all his missions why would you tell people this shit, what you've been doing and you were still, oh, it's like me, you want to be in chin check. You, she, he, this guy should have been chin check. This guy should have been fucked up. If I was, if, if I was in, in that shit, I would have had that man arrested. Arrested for one because he sat there and told things that he shouldn't have told it was none it was no civilian's business to know what we did it is not it is not my business it's not your business what the navy seals did what kind of mission they went on but to me it's like yes to me it's like yes. if if they want us to know what went on they would have told us that's all they should do. They, they would have told us about it. They would have said, hey, this is what my team did. And they took direct orders. Direct orders. That's what they would have said. Direct orders. Now, this guy's spilling everything. Oh, we did this. We did that. I fucked your mama. Da, da, da. And he's got a, and you got to question it. Why is this man telling us this stuff? Unless if he got, unless it's there's something else. He's telling he killed on Simon Laden. He walking around and this guy talking about he raided the place and he's dead. How, 
How did that happen? That's the question. That is the biggest question I want to know. How come he wrote the book about how his team raided and took down Osama Bin Laden? And he's dead and five or six other people are dead too. He talks about he shot and killed Osama Bin Laden and he's still walking around. Tell me something I don't fucking know. Tell me something I don't know. If everybody's so motherfucking hip to that shit. People are so fucking hip to that shit. Guy walks around talking about he shot Osama Bin Laden. This guy walked around talking about how his team raided the place. Y'all so fucking hip and shit. I'm telling you, man. Uh, and it, like I said, would y'all believe a man like this telling you, hey, man, I killed Osama Bin Laden, for real? Would you? Would you? Would you sit up there? I believe what this. I wouldn't either. Somebody worked up on me and said, "Hey, I killed something blind. I wouldn't believe that shit." A, it's because it's retarded, because ain't nobody in hell going to sit up there and do that shit, unless if y'all ass on some shit. I, I just don't get it, y'all. Tell me something when I'm missing. This guy walking, he's going to die. He's going to be dead soon. Somebody going to kill him. I ain't saying I'm going to do it. But he got a fucking target on his motherfucking head. That's all that is to it. Because ain't no way in hell some fool going to, some fool going to sit there and t say he shot old zombie lion. That's how I that's how that's what I think. That's how I see because there is no way in hell. There's no way in hell that somebody's gonna step in and tell people this shit. But it is what it is. But I'll tell you this I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this though. Like to me, uh, to me, I don't want to know any Marines mission or Navy SEALs mission or anything like it. Because one thing is, they've been through enough, and I don't think. Because one thing, that's one thing is, it's hard for anybody that's been to service to talk about what they've been through. And this dude's coming out with it now. That's the question. What's making this guy speak now? Speak about this shit. That's the question. What made this guy speak now about what he did? Because you know, if people just been served, it's hard for them to talk about because they flashbacks and all this shit. What's making this guy step up now? Now that's the question. I'm telling you, man, somebody gonna pop his ass, man. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't the shit happen? He's dead. Watch, watch out, they find out he's dead somewhere. And the first thing y'all gonna do is, Afro Joe, how the, damn, how the hell you find out about this? How the hell you know about this? You knew this few days ago, how the hell you know? How I know is because 
and just the fucker set himself up. He set himself up. Cause there is no way in hell. There's no way in hell. Somebody put themselves out out like that, man. That's the stupidest thing you can do is put yourself out like that. That's the most ignorant shit I ever seen. I don't know, y'all tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. Do you think this guy's full of shit? Or he's alive, whatever. Tell me what y'all think about this shit, because to me, it's all, to me, this guy saying this shit for a reason. And I don't get why this motherfucker would say any damn thing. That's how I see it, man. Y'all just tell me what y'all think. Because one thing is, I, like I said, I think it's stupid for this guy to say this shit. But, hey. Like I said, look at the shit. This guy wrote a book talking about how he rated Osama Lai's uh, plays and how they took him down. And he's dead and five or six other people are dead too after that shit. This guy is walking around talking about he shot and killed Osama Bin Laden. That's the question y'all need to sit there and ask yourself. How does he get to walk around talking about he killed Osama Bin Laden? But after he said that one, put on makeup and went on the cover not to show his identity, he ended up dead. Question that shit. Yeah. Question that shit. That's, that, that, that's something that nobody ain't figured out. But y'all question this shit. Why is he walking when the other guy's dead? But that's how it is. But uh, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on uh, Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think. You think something's up, something ain't right, something's off, something's off. Tell me what's up. Because to me, I think something ain't sitting right. Something ain't sitting right. That's how I see it. Something ain't sitting right. Holla at me. Peace, love, and Afro-Grease.